someone uploaded a lot of material to WikiLeaks. The material that was uploaded had been improperly acquired from the US government. The most explosive of that material was footage which showed innocent civilians in Baghdad being slaughtered by an American helicopter gunship and then a family who came to help them being slaughtered in their turn. The material became public because the site to which that stuff was uploaded was WikiLeaks. Julian Assange runs WikiLeaks and so through WikiLeaks he published that material to the world. The major press outlets of the world republished that material and plenty of other material that Assange has put on WikiLeaks and that has given it immense coverage across the world to the great embarrassment of many governments including that of the United States of America. There is no offence involved in publishing that material on WikiLeaks, no matter that it was obtained improperly. There's no offence involved in publishing it in the New York Times, in the London Times, in the Sydney Morning Herald or any other press outlet uh, for the same reason. Even though the original source may have been illegal, republishing it is not illegal. That was established in the United States Supreme Court in the 1970s in the Daniel Ellsberg case concerning the Pentagon Papers. Now the person who's supposed to have obtained the material improperly and uploaded it to WikiLeaks is a guy called Bradley Manning, who's a young US soldier. He was arrested and charged in July of 2010, and for most of his time since then, he's been held in solitary confinement, naked in a cell, being paraded naked each morning in front of the prison guards, all of this allegedly for his own protection. The US government is obviously sweating him in order to try and get him to implicate Julian Assange in the original leak. There is absolutely no truth to the suggestion, and Bradley Manning has insisted that Assange had nothing to do with the original leak. So, what's the reaction in America to Assange, who has done nothing more or less than was done by Rupert Murdoch or the owners of the mainstream press around the world? Well, across America, leading political figures and political commentators called him a terrorist, called for him to be assassinated, and, of course, the US government is doing everything it can to get its hands on him. Simultaneously with all of these embarrassing revelations, the Swedish government mysteriously decided to get interested again in a charge which they were thinking of bringing against Assange some time earlier. They had told Assange he could leave Sweden, they weren't going to charge him, but then when the American government was embarrassed by the leaks that WikiLeaks published, uh, the Swedish government decided that they wanted to interview Assange after all. For that purpose, they're seeking to have him extradited from Britain. It looks as though that's going to happen quite soon. Sweden and America have got an arrangement by which prisoners of either country can be lent to the other country for the purpose of legal proceedings. The overwhelming likelihood is that if Sweden gets its hands on Assange, America will ask Sweden to lend Assange to them so that they can prosecute him with whatever charges they can dream up. We know that Assange has not done anything wrong. We know that he will be mistreated grossly if America gets their hands on him, just like Bradley Manning has been mistreated grossly. America has got a fine record for respect for human rights, except in recent years. Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo, the treatment of Bradley Manning are all instances of what the US government is willing to do if they are desperate to crush an individual who has embarrassed them. If Assange is taken to the US, it's a certainty that he will not get a fair trial and he will be grossly mistreated. In the meantime, of course, nothing is being done to the owners of the world press who did nothing more or less than Julian Assange has done. But of course, they are big and powerful and governments are unlikely to try and attack the major proprietors of the world press. Julian Assange is a small individual. Who is going to protect him? He's one of us. Our government has said nothing to support him. Our government has done nothing to protect him from the threat which the United States poses. You cannot let the Australian government abandon Julian Assange. He is one of us. He needs protection. He is about to be crushed by the most powerful nation on earth. It's our obligation to tell both major parties it's time for them to speak up. We need to tell the United States of America Leave Julian Assange alone.